Sean here. Today we're gonna learn how to play all about that bass. I'm gonna show you how to play that signature bass line from the tune, plus some other guitar parts in it as well, like some little triad shapes and that lead at the end. So all of that stuff is gonna be in the description in tabs. So please check down there as we're covering the different things today. I'm gonna zoom in in a second, but while you're down there, you can check out my Facebook and Twitter links and hit that subscribe button if you learned something today and you wanna learn some more awesome tunes in the future. All right, let's zoom in now and check this one out. So the whole tune is based off of three chords, A major, B minor, and E major. So that bass line is gonna be following those chords. So here's how the lines are gonna go. On A major, you play this. And so that's gonna be an open A. Third fret A with your third finger. Slide to four. Like that. Then up to fret two of the D string back to fret four of the A string, and then to the open A. Just like that. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four. All right, so that's the shape that you play when you're on the A chord. And during the beginning of the song, you're just gonna play it once and then wait. But towards the middle and the end, you're going to play twice back to back. But we'll get there in a second. Let's just learn all of these shapes first. So the B minor shape is going to go like this. So that's fret 2 of the A string, fret 4 sliding to fret 5. You can do that with your third or your fourth finger. I like my fourth finger better because that allows me to have the fourth fret of the D string ready with my third finger right there because that's the next note. Back down to fret five of the A string, back to fret two of the A string. Okay, so that's the B minor shape and then the E major shape after that is gonna go like that. So it's sorta of like the A, but a string set down, open E string, third fret slides to fret four, going up to the A string fret two, back down to the E string fret four. And then open E again, almost forgot about that one. Okay, so the chord progression is going to be A, B minor, E, A. A goes to B minor, goes to E, goes to A. Just like that. You notice I'm adding some percussive snare hits things with my right hand here. I'm just slapping on two and four. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four. The line itself has those gaps built in, and I think it's because you want it to kind of do that whether you're playing the bass or whether you're playing it on guitar, you want to hit those, those gaps with that slap. So there's some stops and stuff in this tune too, like you might want to hit just the open A as she does her little vocal things during the, 
the last A of your progression. And there's other things in it too. So just you can mimic those as you hear them and it's really just going to be stopping the line. The line doesn't change ever, it's just stopping it in different spots. Okay, so again, towards the middle and the end, you're just going to be doing two of each back to back. A, A, B minor, B minor, E, E, A, A. You might stop there or something. So besides that bass line, we do have some guitar parts in this tune. The first thing that I heard was these little triads happening, just like this. All right, so again, we're just following the chord progression. A major goes to B minor, goes to E major, goes back to A major, okay? So here's how these shapes are made. A major goes like this. Take your first finger bar across fret five of the B and high E strings. Add your second finger to fret six of the G string. And that makes an A major triad. The second chord is a B minor. And it goes like this. Just take your first finger bar across fret seven of all three of those strings. Next is E major, first finger on fret 7 of the high E string, your third and fourth fingers on fret 9 of the G and B strings. And those are the three chords. One, two, three, and four. 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 One, two, Three and four, just like that. And the last thing I wanted to show you today is how the harmonized guitar lines go. They're pretty sweet and they sound like this. And then. Kind of matching the vocals. This happens at the end of the song. Here's what's going on for the first one. We're up here on frets 10 and 9 of the B and high E strings. 10 and 9 is going to go to 9 and 7, and then we're going to go to 7 and 5, and then 5 and 4, and then 3 and 2. Play the first one four times, the second one three times, three more times, two times once. Okay, so again. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one. Okay, and the second part is gonna go very similar, just one set of notes lower. So now we're on nine and seven, seven and five, five and four, three and two, and two and open. So here's where we're gonna end the second time. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one. Same pattern as well. I'll play it slow for you, the whole thing. And that covers all the things I wanted to show you in this tune. We have that bass line, we have some chords to play, some little triad shapes, and that nice harmonized guitar line. Of course you can always play it with some open chords and like stuff down here, but I wanted to show you some more jazzy things. So if you enjoyed this lesson, if you learned something, please subscribe.
If you have any troubles with this tune, please don't hesitate to send me a message or comment. I appreciate all your support. Thanks for watching. My name is Sean, and I will see you tomorrow.